Hello all. Today let us study about the analysis of bar element using ANSYS workbench. Okay. Consider the bar element shown in figure below. Determine the stress and nodal displacement in diameters 50 mm. Okay. In this figure, we have a two nodes. The node number one is fixed. Is the node number one is fixed, and the second node we are applying a load of 1000 newton. The Young's modulus of this material is 2.1 into 10 to the power of 5 newton per mm square or megapascal. The length of this material is 1000 mm. Okay, open the ANSYS workbench. The first step is we have to select the static structural. Here we have a different entities. We can see here we have engineering data, the geometric uh, geometry, model, setup, solution, and results. First step is we have to enter the Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio of the given material. Here, right click and select editor. Here you can see that we are here already we have different materials in the library but I am giving them new if you want to enter the new material you can see here we have click here to add a, add a new material. I am adding a new material I will take it as material 1. I will take MAT1 and give enter. After this select the isotropic elasticity drag to the material 1 and now enter the value of Young's modulus. Young's modulus is 2.1 E5 and the poisons ratio is 0 0.3 okay after this we have to select the project here you can see that the project select the project in project next we have to create a geometry geometry here select new right click new design modular geometry Here we have a XY plane, select right click XY plane, select look at. After this we have to change the units to mm. So here you select units, in units select millimeter. After this you can, we can see in the figure here we have the length of the material is 1000 mm. So now I select the sketching, select line from this center, draw a line, straight line. After this we have to go for the dimensions. In dimensions, select general and select here. Okay. After this, you will get a H1 so that you have to give the length of the material. The length of the material is 1000 mm. After this, give generate so that the length will be created here. After this step, go to the concepts. In concepts, line from sketches, select the line, select the line and you give apply and generate. After this, you can see that here one part and one body is being created here. After this, you have to give the uh, uh, the diameter of this material. Okay, concept and concept cross section. Cross section go to the circular. Here it is asking the radius. In this uh, in this figure, you can see that the diameter is given as 50 mm. The radius is diameter divided by two, so that we will get a 25. So I I will enter 25 here. Okay, radius is 25 mm and give enter or give generate. So that after this here select the one part one body is there a plus mark is there select this one will get line body and you have to give what type of material what type of cross section is this line body the line body is of circular cross section so select circular one and then give generate and this step is completed after this select the cross mark here. Here you can see that geometry is being created, then go to the modeling. In modeling, so right click, you will get edit option. In edit option here, you have to select the geometry. In geometry, select line body. In line body, you have select the assignment in that you have to change it to material 1. You have given the material 1. After this step, go to the mesh. In mesh, right click, you give update. So that you can see that meshing is been done here. Meshing is done for this material. After this, you have to select, go to the static structural and select 
environment display and display go to the eye cross section so that you can see here the material is being created okay so now i have to apply the load or boundary conditions the first node is fixed as we have seen in the question and the last second node is being we are applying the load or load of 1000 newton okay now go to the environment in environment we are applying a, we are applying a displacement a fixed a fixed the first node is fixed so select fixed here we are applying at the vertex so that go select vertex the vertex select this load and give apply so that you can see that the first node is being fixed here okay so next i'm applying the load at the second node go to the same here select a force force and here you have to select the components component it asking which direction we are applying a load we are applying a load in x direction of 1000 newton give 1000 here and select the which node you are applying the load and give the apply so that you can see that load is been applied you can see here we have a first node is fixed and the second node is we are applying a load of 1000 newton if you click on this uh, static structure you can see wherever you are apply the boundary conditions the node number one you are fixed and that the node number two are applying a load of 1000 newton now similar now go to the uh, static structural give a solve command so that solve command will be executed here after this you have to go to the solution in solution insert insert beam tool and beam tool will be inserted here in beam tool we have different direct stress minimum stress and maximum stress before that go to the solution here solution you should type click evaluate all results after that you can see that the direct stress 5.0969 here into 10 to the power of 5 pascal is a maximum stress and the minimum stress is 5.09 into 10 to the power of 5 pascal is a minimum stress here you can see the minimum stress combined stress maximum stress if you want to see what is the deformation if you know the what is the deformation again solution here you can uh, go to the solution insert here we can see that beam tool here insert deformation and click on total deformation and again in static structure uh, in a solution evaluate all results here you can see that total deformation the total deformation minimum is zero and the maximum is 2.4271 meters okay so this is the deformation value this is the maximum deformation and this is the minimum deformation okay if you want to see this in this uh we have to the, the, this you can see that the minimum deformation is zero and the maximum deformation is here yeah, this node that is of 2.4271 maximum okay so if you want to see the results in worksheet or result summary you can see check here the direct stress and the maximum and minimum stress unit is pascal and what is the uh, and or you can see the units also here units is mentioned here direct stress value is this much and minimum and maximum minimum maximum total deformation minimum is zero and the maximum is 2.4271 uh, meter is the maximum deformation okay